continue to turn to this international dimension um, of, uh, of the crisis, in particular within the Eurozone. So the European Union, uh, and in particular the Dutch government, has steadfastly refused from the beginning to help out Italy, and then also other countries that are suffering, suffering the worst. So the Dutch government refuses to acknowledge the huge benefits on the one hand that it draws from the current makeup of the Eurozone system, uh, in which it siphons off huge amounts of money from the southern states each year. Um, and now even in this crisis wants to punish Italy for its financial difficulties that are in part the result of the, the Eurozone system. Uh, and they're trying to enforce serious budget cuts on Italy, uh, and especially on social welfare spending. We, we just discussed that uh, there is very little government support in Italy for the people that are suffering um, the worst. Uh, and one of the reasons to um, raise money uh, in Europe as a whole uh, was in order to help people in Italy. But the Dutch government's main point of contention uh, was that they were afraid, supposedly, that this money would go to social welfare uh, yeah, in Italy and that this would continue uh, beyond the crisis. They were okay with money being sent by emergency funds to businesses but they didn't want it to go to social welfare in Italy it's really sickening and I think especially for people in the Netherlands it's important to hear um, from someone in Italy how you view all this how is this view within Italy um, what is your position on this as Potera al Popolo uh, for instance I understand that um, as Potera al Popolo you're not particularly in favor of uh, euro bonds um, that the Italian government was asking for uh, but obviously we need some type of European solidarity um, uh, support. So what, what is your position on this? What uh, Italian people understood is that uh, nowadays Europe, for the people, at least for the people, is only a geographical uh, expression. But politically there has been, until now, uh, no solidarity. It's very funny what Dutch government is saying. I mean, uh, uh, the Dutch government uh, built uh, actually a fiscal haven in Holland. This means that a lot of enterprises, they just don't pay taxes uh, here and uh, don't pay taxes in Italy. Uh, so they can, they don't, uh, we don't benefit of uh, all the income that we uh, make to these people uh, that these people make. This is very, very, of course, very, very bad for us. And uh, when the Dutch government says that we have to do it by ourselves, it's very, very funny because it's, uh, they, they stole a lot of money to us. So what we ask Dutch people, it's of course, help us, of course, uh, push your government and uh, try to uh, build Build a real solidarity in Europe, and uh, I, for solidarity, I mean just we need we need money, we need resources to go on and to pay uh, the social uh, uh, to, to make the people survive. This, this is what we need now. Of course, Dutch government is saying something that there there is something true in what Dutch government says. I mean. Italy is not a poor country. Italy has uh, 10 uh, trillions uh, of euros of uh, private uh, wealth. Mm -hmm. This means that all this wealth uh, is, of course, inequally uh, distributed in the population. I mean, we have like uh, 500,000 families which are uh, millionaires okay so we have like two millions of people which uh, are very very are very rich this means that uh, we have to take a part of this income which is of not of course not an income a wealth which came from uh, exploit uh, exploiting people who were more precarious in the last 10 years uh, which were uh, comes comes from uh, the big uh, I don't know I don't know how to say in uh, in English but uh, the, the the fact that all these people they don't pay all the taxes they should pay yeah. uh, tax evasion 
okay, we have like uh, every year something like 140, 170 million, billions of tax evasions in Italy. Uh, most of the evasion comes from uh, enterprises. So we have uh, this wealth, of course, is our money. I mean, is uh, wealth produced by the Italian workers, but who has been privatized by these people. We ask the government to put a tax on these people and to try to uh, use this money to, of course, of course, give some benefits to the poor people, but also to finance uh, a total uh, recom uh, ecologic, I don't know, reconversion, how do you say, this tra transition in Italy, because yes. we have... Ecological transition. Yeah, we, because uh, Italy has too many little enterprises, which all, before the crisis, they were suffering a lot. Suffering, I mean, that they were living on debts. This means that uh, we cannot give money to these uh, enterprises just to restart the economical, uh, uh, just uh, like uh, helicopter money for enterprises, just uh, to restart the, the economic system. This, the system will never start in this way. We need, we are asking the state to uh, nationalized parts of the economic system, the strategic uh, enterprises, the strategic sectors, and to use these uh, uh, sectors to reorient the economy towards uh, uh, a transition. We can do this now, of course. So we are we we would like to uh, build around this project a, a, at least a European solidarity so to ask money to the other states i think of course this won't happen even euro bonds that we don't like because they are new debt we don't want to build new debt because we have a huge debt uh, nowadays so adding new debt uh, it's not of course the solution we will we, we just uh, put some problems on the new generations and the, and that on our people we, we want to build uh, a European solidarity uh, which uh, stand, which um, try to redistribute the wealth from the rich to the poor, also at European level. We, we, sh we should, what we should do is to try to keep in contact, to build maybe a conference with all the popular organizations of Europe to try to find uh, an emergency plan from for Europe in order to uh, try to find this money, to redistribute this money to all the the, the people, uh, to all to, to the states and to the people, and to try to make this economic transition. Because of course, also the the, the climate situation is one of the factors that uh, gave to the, the, the gave birth to the, the spread of the virus. Uh, this, this, uh, yeah. I, I hope you understood what they wanted to say. Yeah, no, I, I think we, we definitely did. Um, yeah, and the, the climate crisis is of immense importance, and it's, it's hard to uh, forget about it at this moment. Noam Chomsky in recent interviews has been emphasizing that the corona crisis is horrible, it's really bad, but we'll survive it, but we won't survive the melting of the, of the polar caps. Uh, we need to tackle the climate crisis, and in a way, this is an opportunity to do so. Um, and I, I think um, that what you are talking about is, is the crucial question that all societies are uh, facing now, namely, how are we going to distribute wealth and power within our societies? If we continue on the same foot, this crisis is going to increase inequalities radically, um, but we need the exact opposite. And um, especially the longer this crisis uh, lasts, the more crucial this question becomes, because We've now been in it for several months, but um, from what what we understand now, it, it, it might take at least two years before any type of vaccine will be available. And even that is a very uh, positive es estimate. So we might be in some type of similar situation for years to come. We don't know exactly, but it's going to be a, a, a very serious crisis for a long time. Um, and so any talk about raising the debt level, uh, I, I read that Adam Tooze wrote that Italian debt is currently at 135% of GDP, but 
the crisis might raise it to 155%, uh, but that wouldn't even be an outlier anymore because all debt levels uh, are, are rising rapidly. And I guess doing it through the form of euro bonds would have the only advantage that it's not unequally distributed anymore where Italy and Spain have to uh, bear the burden of, of higher interest rates and uh, a debt they can never repay anymore, but it's sort of burdened by the shoulders throughout Europe. Um, but uh, it would only be a very temporary measure. The real question is, is one of class struggle and um, power distribution in our societies. Thank you.